Clutch Trucker is filmed before a live studio audience. Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in again to the, uh, another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. Um, if you watched my previous videos, most recent ones, you know I picked up this load going uh, from Auburn, Washington, going all the way to Deerfield Beach, Florida. And so along the way I was trying to get some stuff done, like I was trying to get the dog groomed. And if you scroll down and try to find my video about best trucker grooming option, or best grooming option for truckers, for dogs, uh, I talk about PetSmart. I found a PetSmart in Ogden, Utah. Again, I've used that actually one before. Um, and I was going to try to get Rusty groomed on Wednesday, the first of this new year, uh, January, on Wednesday, the first of 2020. And of course, the roads getting there were nasty. And uh, so, anyway, and that delayed me a little bit, but I did get there. Then I got it into Wyoming, and then of course that night they shut I-80 down. So I got stuck there all night. I had an appointment for the next day, Thursday. I'm trying to get a couple of things done to get my uh, passenger side windshield replaced because it had a huge crack in it. Well, of course the road was shut down. They didn't open it up early enough uh, the next morning for me to make my appointment. So I had to reschedule, so I had to do that Friday in Omaha, Ralston to be exact. Uh, so that kind of delayed me a little bit, you know, and it's, it's been weather delays, and I've been trying to take care of this stuff. Finally got the windshield replaced in Omaha, Ralston, to be exact, at a safe flight there. Kind of delayed me a little bit, so I'm kind of behind, but I still made it to Florida here on the, on the um, 5th, uh, and I got it delivered tomorrow. So I thought I'd show you some uh, video I've captured in the last week or two. Uh, most of it's really recent stuff. But on my way up to uh, the Washington area, Washington State area, uh, to deliver a load and then pick up another one, I saw a truck on fire. Let's look at that. About a week or so before that, before Christmas, actually, I was on my way home back to Cheyenne and saw a, uh, a truck with a uh, Amazon Prime trailer jackknifed right in front of a bridge abutment. Here's that one. Like I said, uh, trying to make it down to Ogden, Utah to get uh, the dog groomed on uh, Wednesday the 1st of uh, January. Roads got real nasty real quick uh, right around the Idaho-Utah uh, border on I-84. Here's some video of what I had to deal with on that and then right after that I'm going to show a couple of pictures as the roads kept getting worse. Then after they finally reopened I-80 on Thursday morning and I was going to try to make it back to Cheyenne, of course I'd already blown my Safe Light glass appointment, but driving along and uh, just as you're coming up towards Elk Mountain there on I-80 going eastbound, then there's a Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T truck, now owned by Swift, that says a lot, uh, that decided they wanted to spin around and uh, park there in the media. Sorry.
Then a little further on down the road, there's another truck flipped over. I think this was actually out in Nebraska on I-80. Uh, and uh, so we'll show you that video. So winter months obviously are ripe for uh, capturing uh, a lot of trucks in the median, flipped over, that sort of stuff on the video, and of course bad weather and road conditions. So I thought we'd do a little fun video here of uh, stuff I captured off the dash cam. And to those of you curious, I do use the Rexing uh, V1 Generation 3 dash cam. fits right up in the top of your windshield. The angle is perfect. It has a screen on it so you can actually see what it's seen. Uh, I found it's great and it's only 139 bucks. It's better than anything you're gonna get at a truck stop. It lasts longer. It's better. You can get the optional GPS plug-in thing for it so it'll record your speed and your location as well. So that's gonna help if you ever get into an accident situation and you need to prove to the cops that you weren't speeding or you weren't doing anything wrong and exactly where you were. So the Rexine uh, V1 Generation 3 is the one I use. I got it uh, 139 bucks off Amazon. I think the GPS plug-in part was another $29. Less than the stuff at the truck stop. I've tried everything at the truck stops. They all don't last. I like Garmin for a GPS, but their dash cams suck. I've had three of them. All right. You can find my older videos I have all about the best trucker dash cam, and I'll explain more about that. This one was just uh, some fun, so we can look at some uh, crazy stuff on the video. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, as always, please subscribe, please like, please comment, please ring that bell, sniff the magic YouTube fairy dust, as always, clutch out.